Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sub. So today in this video, I'll tell you how to obtain the solutions of linear system of equation. So in this video, I'll tell you about the conditions and in the next subsequent videos, we will take up the solutions one by one. Right. So let us try to understand what are system of equations and what type of solutions do they have. So let's see this equations. So we have the system of linear equation given by a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1. a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2. a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to d3. Now, since we are dealing with matrices, so what we are supposed to do, we'll try to convert these equations in the form of matrix. Now, when we convert these equations in form of matrix, we get the coefficient matrix as A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3, multiplied with X, Y, Z. And on the right hand side, we have the coefficient matrix as D1, D2, and D3. Right. So we can write this matrix as A multiplied by X is equal to D. So you can see that this is the coefficient matrix A. This is the system of unknowns and D is given as the right hand side matrix. So any linear system of equations can be converted into a matrix and that matrix can be expressed as AX equal to D. Right. Now, depending on these matrices, let us see what are the types of solutions. So, when we deal with system of equations, we have basically two types of solution. Either the solution is consistent or the solution is inconsistent, right? So, we have written the equation as A1, B1, C1. A2, B2, C2. Then we have A3, B3 and C3. Then we have written X, Y, Z. And we have written it equal to the right hand side vector that is D1, D2 and D3. Right. So all the conditions are according to the concept of rank. Right. So what are we supposed to make? We will make a matrix A augmented D. So what is the meaning of A augmented D? That we will write both the matrix A and D together. How to write it? We will first write down the coefficient matrix. So the coefficient matrix is A1, B1, C1. Then we have A2, B2, C2. Then we have A3, B3 and C3. Then we'll put a dash to separate it and we will write the right hand side matrix that is D1, D2 and D3, right? So this becomes your A augmented D. So we have to calculate the rank of this entire matrix. So after calculating the rank of this entire matrix, so this will be defined as rank of A augmented B. So shall I be able to calculate rank of A from here? So what you can do, you can put your hand on this D1, D2, D3. So you'll get the coefficient matrix. So you can calculate the rank from there, right? So when is the system of equations going to have consistent solution? The system of equations will always have a consistent solution. Consistent means when it has a solution, right? Whenever the rank of A and the rank of A augmented D are same, right? And when will the system of equations have inconsistent solution? Inconsistent means no solution, right? It has a solution. It does not have a solution. So when it is going to do, when it will not have a solution, whenever rank of A is not equal to rank of A augmented B. So you need to remember these conditions, right? Now, again, when we talk about consistency, we again have two different types of solution. Either the solution can be unique or it might have infinitely many solutions. So when is the solution going to be unique? What is the condition for that? The solution will be unique whenever rank of A is equal to rank of A augmented B and it is equal to the number of variables, right? So like here, we are calculating three unknown variables. So that means number of variables are three here. 
so whenever rank of a rank of a augmented p is always equal to 3 then it will always have a unique solution right and when it is going to have infinitely many solutions it is going to have infinitely many solutions whenever rank of a and rank of a augmented b are equal but they are less than the number of variables that means the rank of both the matrices if it is if the number of variables are 3 that means the rank of both the matrices can be either 2 or it can be 1 right so this is the meaning of infinitely many solutions so this, these conditions we have developed when our system is a non-homogeneous system. So what is the difference in a non-homogeneous system and in a homogeneous system? So you have seen that the right hand side we have written D1, D2, D3. So when they are all non-zero, it is termed as a non-homogeneous system. And when these D1, D2, D3 become equal to zero, that means all the equations, the system of linear equations are all equal to zero, then it is called a homogeneous system, right? So for the homogeneous system, these conditions will again reduce, right? So all these equations that we have studied, all these conditions that we have studied, they are for a non-homogeneous system, right? So you need to remember that the system of equations can be consistent or it can be inconsistent. Inconsistent means when both the ranks are unequal. Consistent means when the ranks are same. So when the ranks are same, either the rank will be equal to the number of variables or the rank will be less than the number of variables. So when the ranks are equal to the number of variables, it leads to unique solution. When the rank is less than the number of variables, it leads to infinitely many Right? So now from here, I'm just describing this in words in the slide. So this is what is A augmented B and then I could just written it in words that when rank of A is not equal to rank of A augmented D, then the system is inconsistent that it has no solution. When rank of A augmented B is equal to rank of A, then the system is consistent and it has two cases. If it is equal to the number of unknowns, the system is, has a unique solution. When it has less than the number of unknown variables, the system has infinite. Right? So now from a non-homogeneous system of equations, let us move to a homogeneous system of equations. Right? So now once we are uh, known that the system has a solution, how to get the solution? We try to multiply since we have converted the equations into ax equal to b form. To get the values of x, I have to multiply with a inverse on both sides, right? So what we do, we multiply with a inverse on both sides. And from there, we get the value of x as a inverse into b. How to get the solution? I'll get you know. I'll tell you in the question itself, right? So this is all about a non-homogeneous equation. Now, let us try to move to a homogeneous equation, right? So, in a homogeneous equation, the difference is, till now we were having ax equal to d. So, now this d will become 0, right? So, all the equations are equated equal to 0. So, that equation is said to be a homogeneous system of equations. That means the equations will be like this, a1x plus b1 by y plus c1z is equal to 0. The second equation will be a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to 0. And the third equation will be a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to 0. That means the right hand side vector is all equated to right. So that system is called a homogeneous system of equation. So, what are the conditions in a homogeneous system of equations? Let us see. Now, in a homogeneous system of equation, what is there? So, we have written Ax equal to 0. Now, in this case, so if I just consider the non-homogeneous system, if you remember, we divided into two cases, that is consistency and inconsistency, right? Consistency and inconsistency. So, the condition for inconsistency was rank of A is not equal to rank of A augmented D. Now, in this case, D is 0. So, I'll get that. Sorry, let me just 
remove this there is a doubling of letters okay so when we have rank of a not equal to since d is 0 this is same as rank of a so this is not possible rank of a cannot be equal to rank of a so that means there is no case of inconsistency for a homogeneous system so a homogeneous system of equation will always have a solution right so under consistency if you remember we had either unique solution or infinitely many solutions right so under unique solution what was the case that rank of A should be equal to rank of A augmented D should be equal to the number of unknowns. So, since this case is not there, D is 0. So, we get the condition that rank of A should be equal to the number of unknowns. I am just telling you how to derive from there only. So, it always has a solution and it depends upon rank. So, if rank of A is equal to the number of unknowns, it is called a unique solution. And in case of homogeneous solution, there is a special name given to it. It is called a trivial solution. So, what's a trivial solution? When the values of all the unknowns are equal to 0. So, whenever you get a unique solution in a homogeneous system, then it is always true that all the unknowns will be equated to 0. Right? There is only one solution. All x1, y1, z1 or x, y, z, whatever are your unknowns given to you in the problem, they will all take value. And in the second case, when we had infinitely many solutions, what was the case? When rank of A is equal to rank of A augmented D, but it is e less than the number of unknowns. So, in this case, this is not the case. So, we will get the condition that rank of A is less than the number of unknowns. So, in this case, we get infinitely many solutions and it is given a name that is a non-trivial solution. So, non-trivial solution means infinitely many solutions. So, you can see that from a non-homogeneous system of equations, how we reduce the conditions to a homogeneous. Right? Okay. So, I hope the conditions are clear to you. So, once the conditions for system of equations are clear, we will be in a situation to solve the problems on them. Right? So, my next video will focus on all the different problems. So, I have made different videos for different problems. So, do visit them and do check them, right? So, if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. And do share the videos with others who need them. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.